If you haven't already seen it on social media, you probably spotted the billboards around town. The incredibly popular immersive Van Gogh exhibit is coming to Madison. The highly sought after experience invites you to step inside the works of 19th century painter Vincent Van Gogh. We got a sneak peek at the phenomenon that has been sweeping the country. <laughs> It's a new way of encountering art. That's what our goal was here. How would you describe for people how seeing this is different than going to an art museum? It's a different way of encountering art. You're feeling not as though you're looking at something that is static, you're actually immersed in it, and something that in a painting might be an inch tall, a person is blown up so that they're life size, you're standing next to that person. You can actually sort of see Van Gogh's brush strokes as they might have been there, uh, been put onto the canvas. We feel as though in some ways we're putting you into the painting so that you can see it as though Van Gogh might have seen it as he was envisioning it. The projections themselves are about 35 minutes long and people come and oftentimes will stay in the gallery for multiple viewings. Some people meditate, some people find it very invigorating, they run around, kids dance uh, in, in, the, in the space. It's really, really a lovely, lovely experience. But it's really all about being a big tribute to, of course, the magnificent Vincent van Gogh. What do we know about his life? We don't know mu that much about his early life. We know that he did start painting in the final 10 years of his life. And um, I think it's fairly commonly assumed that he was suffering from some kind of mental illness. He did spend time in a sanatorium and he had violent outbursts, but he was producing art at a rapid, rapid pace. One two paintings a day sometimes. In the, over the course of the 10 years, he created over 900 paintings, plus sketches, plus avid letter writing. He was very, very active um, and very emotional. From his letters, we can read that he was very emotional. He got into fights. This installation that we have in our lobbies is called Letters from Vincent. And what this does is it takes the archive of Vincent van Gogh's thousand plus letters that he wrote during his lifetime, mostly to his brother Theo. And what you see here on here are images of his actual letters, um, mostly to his brother Theo. You'll see that there's sketches in these letters. So when I talked about the fact that he was painting and doing sketches, sometimes he would use, put a sketch right into a painting or into a letter to his brother Theo. And we have been able to dissect these letters so that if you would like to write a letter to Vincent van Gogh and receive a response, you will get a personalized response. You take your phone, you scan this QR code, you can ask him a question like, do you, how do you feel like you were never recognized in your life? Or would you, how would you feel if you knew you were regarded as one of the most successful and most important artists in history? You will then receive a personalized email in Van Gogh's handwriting that personally addresses your question to him. Do you have to know or be familiar with his art to fully enjoy this? Absolutely or, not. Or does it open a whole new world to you? We think this opens up a whole new world for people and we actually feel as though this is an excellent way to introduce young people to art who may not be attracted initially to the more traditional art museum environment. We feel like this is a great way to really get them to love art. It is really beautiful. You saw it in Vegas. I saw it in Vegas. You know, I, I have no skin in this game, but you should go see this. The music really yeah. grabs you, mm -hmm. too. It was really beautiful. About six million people have seen Immersive Van Gogh. And Nick said that translates into about one in 85 people in the U.S. So that's how be, popular be it one. is. <laughs> Immersive Van Gogh opens Thanksgiving Day and runs until January 8th in the Greenway Station Shopping Center. The show is in the site of the former DSW shooting 
2 warehouse on Deming Way. DSW moved a little further down the block. Tickets range in price from $35 to $99 for VIP packages. You can buy tickets at the door or online at VanGoMadison.com. The price varies when you go. Like right. It's more expensive on the weekends than on a Tuesday. Exactly. And then there's higher level um, VIP packages right. where you. But can... it, it is worth seeing. Oh, it was beautiful. Yep. We just got. I just got like a little taste of it. So now I'm really excited yep. to see the whole show.